Welcome to your Tone Till the End Pilates Shred Workout. This workout is a part of the Bridal Bar Bootcamp that gets you in wedding shape in 30 days. Receive this entire program in your inbox by signing up with the link below. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And now let's get into the workout. All right, let's begin with our sliders. We're gonna be using these for the whole class. We don't have sliders. Remember, you can just use socks on your wood floor or even some paper plates on carpet. So you can always make it work. Okay, we are going to start in a high plank position here. And we're gonna do a lot of core. So let's get excited. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be here on high plank we're gonna take our knee all the way up to the elbow just like that and bring it back. Let's go four times like this, four, and in, three, and in, two, and in, one, and in. Good, we're gonna slide it all the way up. Try to get all the way up there, keeping the legs straight, and in. Good, three, stay up in your high plank the whole time, two, and one. Now we're gonna alternate it. Knee and down and side and back. Three more. Knee and down, side and back. Good, two more. Two and down. Good, knee. Last one, in and back. Side, good, stay here in your high plank. Do little circles, four and three and two hold it keep holding it you've got it last four we're gonna circle the other way four and three and two and one and good job all right take a little breather <sighs> shake it out just know that the plank something you work up towards gets easier and easier every time Kind of, it's still challenging, but you do get stronger. Okay, here we go, let's go. For the other side, high plank. Let's go, knee to elbow, right knee to right elbow. Good, three, two, one. Good, slide it side, four, and three, two, and one, let's combo it out. Here we go. Knee and back, side. Two more. Push the floor away, stay strong. You've got it. Circle it out four times. Four, three, two, I know those arms might be shaking. You can do it. Other way. Four more. Four. Woo. Three. Almost there. Stick with it. Two. And one. And back. Good job. Okay. Shake that out. We're going to stay here. We're going to move down onto our elbows. I know. It's a lot but it's that nice, quick, effective burn. Okay, so we're gonna go onto our forearm plank here, and we're gonna go into a dolphin, going all the way up. Here we go. And lift it up, and up, and down, and down. one and up and down and down good hold it right here now you're just gonna dip the right hip down and up four times good three and up two one put it together you're gonna go all the way up all the way down two and one and up here we go up and up down and down, hip. Those 
ones are hard to talk through for sure. Whew. Okay, take a little breather. We're gonna do basically the same thing on the other side, but this time we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna bring the knees in towards the chest. All right, you ready? Shake it out. We've got this. Here we go, elbows down. We're gonna crouch it in just like this. You're gonna crouch in, out, and out. Good, three. Now we're gonna hip dip to the left this time. Four, and up, three, two, one, and up. Now we're gonna crouch in. Whew. I need to take a little breather. <laughs> okay, crouch in and out. Two times right here. Good. All right, crouch in, out, down. Like with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it. Got one more in you? You got it. Here we go. Last one. Crouch in and in and out and out. Side up, side and up. Good job. Oh, man. Okay. Whew. Lots of good core there. Let's stand it up. Let's move it into our legs right now. Let's give our arms and abs a little bit of a break. Okay, so standing here, we're gonna go into an elevator lunge with the right leg. All that means is you're gonna take your slider back like this and then come up. That's it, all right? So we're gonna do four slow. Here we go. Four and up. Nice and slow. Down and down. Up and up. Really focus on driving down through the heel. And up two more. Good, now we're gonna add a curtsy lunge here. So we're gonna go curtsy cross behind you. And up, nice and slow. Two more, down and down, up and up. Let's combo those two out. So you're gonna go back and back, up and up, and then curtsy, down, up and up. Keep going, elevator back. So we're moving really slow in the body. Two more. Really, really slow so you can control the movements. Really get in touch with all those smaller accessory muscles. Usually the muscles you're not using in that everyday kind of movement. But all these little tiny muscles that really happen when you maybe twist and turn and kind of do something unusual in your body. Good. Okay, now, we're gonna take a crescent back here. Four parts, one. We're gonna open up, two, three, and up, just like that. All right, join me now. And reach, and forward, and up, good. So the sliders really, really challenge your strength. It really works those inner thighs, helps you focus on your balance, right? Because you're really, kind of unstable in this slippity, slidey thing, right? So you gotta really work all of that. Whew. All right, last one, we're gonna hold it here, open it up. This time we're gonna take the elbow to the knee and reach it up. Just four times. Here we go, four and up, three, two, and one. And I'm dying. Okay, shake it out. And then now we're gonna take that crescent lunge back one more time. We're gonna pulse it out right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, come on up. Now we're gonna take our curtsy lunge, pulse it out. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come up. Whew. On fire. <laughs> no other words, can't even talk. Okay, let's go to the other side. Ready? I know, let's go. Wait, other leg, here we go. Down, down, up, and up, nice and slow. First you might be like, oh, these are super easy, and then, and then they're not. They're easy until all of a sudden they're not. Up, and up, and then down, and down, up, and up, nice. All right, now we're gonna add that curtsy down and down, up. So try not to rush these. I'm purposely going really slow. Sometimes when you go too fast, the bigger muscles tend to take over. So when you go slow, you're forcing those smaller accessory muscles to turn on, which is how kind of like dancers, they get that lean, all those lean muscles, right? It's like every muscle in their body is working. Okay, so now we're gonna go crescent lunge, up to curtsy. Three more. Two more. Last one, really drive through that heel. Give a little bit of a pitch forward right here. Good, tighten that core. Curtsy, out, up, and up, nice. Now we're gonna do our crescent twist. Here we go, so crescent down here. Reach, forward, and up. So if you've been coming back to this video again and again, which I know you are, you can always put the wrist weights on, you're gonna definitely feel a good challenge there with the arms, and it just adds a little bit of extra weight in the legs as well. Nice, all right, we're gonna go down. We're gonna hold it here for our nice little elbow twist here, so elbow to the knee and reach it up for four, for three, two, you've got it, and one, and stand it up. Oh man, <sighs> on fire. Here we go, we're gonna take it back eight times, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, okay. A little curtsy lunge here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Whew. I don't know if it's much relief to know that we're gonna go back into the abs. Oh my gosh, okay. Legs are burning. Let's come back here now. We've got a few more abs to do. But actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and do a few tricep dips right here, just to switch it up, all right? So we're gonna do a little tricep dip here, tap the foot, tricep dip here like this. All right, just 10, up, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all right. Now, let's go into our sliders right here. So we're gonna grab the sliders. So let's come back onto our sliders here. Hands are on the mat. Reach the legs out, and we're just gonna go out and in. That's it, for four, 
for three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna take the leg, we're gonna slide it all the way up to the side, out, and in. Good, slide, out, and in. Two more. Out, and in, and out. Good, now we're gonna just tap the left knee to the floor, come back up, that's it. For four, and up, three, two, and one, and up. Good job, all right, shake it out. We're gonna do that all on the right side. By now you're kinda of getting the groove, feeling strong. All right, this is the best way to work the core. It, when I started doing planks like this, my whole body really did change, so. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, here we go. And out and in for three and two and one. Good, right leg slides up and out and in. Three more. Good, just tap the right knee, four, and up, three, two, one, and up, nice job. All right, take a little breather. Before we go into our next section, you guessed it, more abs and arms. A lot of really good shoulders and posture. Okay, elbows are down. We're gonna shift forward and back. Here we go, shift forward and back for eight, seven, squeeze belly to spine, six, five, four, and three, two, and one. Good, come right up onto those hands. You've got it. We're gonna alternate knees down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna run it out for eight, seven, three, two, and one. Whew. Take a little breather. We are going to go back into our tricep dips. Same thing where we did the dancing tricep dips here. And let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good job. All right, we're gonna do one more arm exercise here. So we're gonna come onto our knees and we're just going to Take ourselves forward into a nice push-up here like this. And we're gonna extend it back into a nice little child's pose, okay? So, that's it. All right, working on those arms. Here we go, upper body strength for 10. child's pose right here. You are doing so good. This is not easy. I'm definitely challenge you, challenging you here. Let's go into a little downward dog just to give a nice stretch here before we move into the next section. <sighs> Take a nice big deep breath in. Just feeling so grateful for your body, for being here, for this amazing time in your life. All right, just use this time to really soak it all in and feel just that 
immense amount of gratitude for everything coming your way right now. All right, maybe not so grateful for this next little section, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're gonna do those leg exercises one more time. I know, call me crazy, maybe I am, but you came here to get a good workout and I don't wanna disappoint you, okay? So we're gonna do that leg section one more time. You've got this, here we go. Don't even think about it, just do it, let's go. We're gonna go down and down and up and up. Good, down and down and up and up. Good, two more and up and up. Good, down and down and up. Now we're gonna go into our curtsy and up and up. I really do love working like this. I have injured my hamstrings, I pull, pulled them. And when I started doing these kinds of moves, it's slow controlled movements. Oh my gosh, my leg just healed so much faster because you have to use so much balance and you're still stretching as you're doing this. So you're really getting everything that you need to rehab your body at the same time. So we're gonna combo that out, four and up and down and up. Good, for three. Two more. Up. Last one, down and up and curtsy. Good, now we're gonna do our crescent twist here. So we're gonna crescent all the way back, four counts. Twist back, forward, and up. I want you to really think about this move here of getting longer and taller as you twist. Nice, and up. Pull up through the core, lengthen through the spine, reach and actually look back. Your nose and fingers should be in the same line. And back, here, and up. Last one. Open it up, here we go. We're gonna do our little flow here. Four and up, I know this is the burner. Three and up, two and up, one and up. Stand up if you can. Okay, here we go. Whew. Little pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Last move on this leg, this is it. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, take a moment. This might be the hardest workout yet. It's like the sneaky hard, sneaky hard. Okay, here we go, other side. Four and up, nice and slow, three, And up, two, one. And it's okay if you need to take more breaks through it, totally fine. Go into your curtsy. Just remember, push that play button. Don't leave me hanging. I need you to come back, finish the workout, okay? Good, two. And one, and up. Good, all right, combo that out. We're so close, and up. I know it's sometimes painful to move slow when you're already kind of tired and fatigued, but this is where you grow, this is where you get stronger. It's kind of what it all leads up to, right? It's getting yourself past that point. Two more, two, and we're in it together. And one, I oh know we've got one more, and a one. Really press through that heel, make sure that you can still move those toes and up, nice. Let's do our four part crescent move here and reach, look back here. 
challenging your balance. Whew. So full body muscle recruitment. That means you're recruiting the most amount of muscles you can to do just this one move. That's why it's so effective. And you can get your full body workout in in less than 30 minutes, which is amazing. So you've got a million things to do, but you still gotta get that workout in. You gotta pencil it in, put it in that calendar, put it in your to-do list. You gotta stick to it. Here we go. Four and up, three and up, two and one and up. Beautiful, come up, so close. We're gonna pulse it out now. I guess we could have just stayed here. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this is it. Last little bit. Eight, stay down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh man. Whew. Okay, let's do those tricep dips just for good measure. Okay, we've got a couple minutes left. Tricep dip here, tap the toe. Good, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Nice, all right. You probably knew I wasn't gonna end the class without a few more abs, right? I'm sure you probably guessed it. Okay, so we're gonna do that little dolphin combo one more time, all right? We're gonna finish strong. We can do it. Elbows down, let's go. So we're just gonna take it all the way up all the way down, hip dip right this time, lift, hip dip left and lift, up and up and down and down, hip drop down to the right, up, left and up, good, again, and up and down and down, and right, left, good, up, down, down, right, Good, one more time right here. Here we go, up and up and down and down. Right, up, left. Good, hold it here. Just rock forward and back. This is it. Last eight, seven, finish strong with me. Six, five, four, and one. All right, you are officially done. Whew. All right, take a little stretch out with the legs and with the arms, release the head. Good, clasp those hands over your head. Reach the arms up and slowly, slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Oh man, and take a nice little twist Stretch over to the side here. And then other side, reach. Make sure that you're doing recovery. You know I've got so many recovery videos for you. One more stretch here to open up those shoulders. Lift up the head, lift up the chest. My goal for you is always that you feel so empowered and strong. Come back and do this video again and again. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know where you're at in this program. Also, so that you can connect with the community. We've got an amazing community, so make sure you support each other too. Okay, good job. Awesome job, you made it all the way through. Now, if you're wanting to upgrade your experience and get the best results, then download my brand new Bar Definition app, available now in the App Store, where you can get your bonus finishers, recipes, and notifications to help keep you on track. Download it now, and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.